today what I have for you is a sleeping bag quilt. This is a Sierra Design one. It's really just a spring, summer, uh, fall type bag. It goes down to 42 degrees. Inside I also have my mat, um, pillow, and then the actual bag itself. The bag is just under two pounds. The, with the actual mat, pillow, and bag all together, the whole sleeping system comes to three point, or three pounds, five ounces, which I'm pretty happy with. So now I'm gonna show you the features of a backpacking quilt so you can see if it works for you. Right now, I'm loving it. I'm gonna be using it for the season. What I've used it for so far, I'm very happy. Let me show you how all the features work. All right, so I have it all set up here. First feature I wanna show you is that it does not have a zipper at all. This is actually the what could be considered the bottom of the bag. It does have a pocket to put your feet in, which is really important, but it actually goes like this, this way. So now that we have our feet tucked in, let's talk about the real features of this sleeping bag of a quilt. Number one is that they're kind of wide, which I like, which helps me when uh, I'm a big guy and also I sleep on my side and turn. And when you're in a zip bag, it's hard to actually spin around. So you've got width, which is great. The other thing is you got these cool little pockets, these little hand pockets, and they help you control the bag. You can pull it up like this, put it underneath your elbows, you can move it up and down. You can also pull it back and then tuck it under your shoulders so you can get nice and tight and cozy actually in the bag, which I really, really like. Um, the other thing about these hand features, which is I'm a side sweep sleeper, and if you're a side sleeper, you'd probably love a quilt like this. Uh, what you do is you cross your hands. So I cross this one here, and I put this one into this pocket, and then this one I pull out behind my neck, like so, and then I cuddle in. What it has done is it's pulled the bag so that it's cinched up underneath my back and behind me. And then I still have this one, whoops, this one, here that I can pull down and tuck down like this. Once you're in this position, you can get your hand out of there and then, and then tuck in. I like this because what you can do is you can control your temperature. You can move the bag back, you can move it forward, you can do all that, but you can also stay nice and tucked behind you. And it's really easy to swing around on your side when you don't have a zipper all zipped up and everything. Um, the last feature is uh, Sierra Design has put in a hood. Uh, this is for this is a 42 degree bag. So say it gets down to 30 gets kind of cold You know that you lose most of your heat through your head. So this has a nice little head pouch It's kind of funny and it's neat, but uh, it works and you can take and tuck yourself in all around in this bag and Have some nice warmth around your head uh, and stay nice and cozy if you're really really in cold So let me know. What do you think about this bag? Would you use a quilt? They've been out for a couple years now. There's a couple different brands. I'm really sold on them. I love it. If you like this video, please hit like uh, and subscribe if you would. And I'll keep making videos like this. I love it. So till then, take care. Whew, now I'm nice and cozy. You know, another feature with these quilts is actually it's great around camp. You can put it around your backwards like this, put your hands in your pockets and cozy up. Keep your... Uh, front to the fire nice and warm and keep your backside nice and cozy with this on your back. It's pretty versatile. I'm grooving on the quilt.